What's good guys, it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be giving you an update in regards to the braid locks installation I did on my son's 3 inch TWA. So let's get into it. So recently I received a comment requesting an update regarding my son's braid lock journey which I shared a few months ago and with that I am very sad to say that his lock journey ended a week after installation. Like many people starting their lock journey, he found that his scalp had become quite itchy and he wanted to take them out immediately so that he could wash his hair. However, if he had stayed the course with his starter locks, then this would have been his second lock journey. Now, when I first started his lock journey back in 2004, I used the two-strand twist method, and he was about four years old then, and I don't recall him fussing or complaining about his scalp being itchy. Now, I know it's kind of um, difficult for a child, a very young child, to express that, but he didn't give off any indication that he was uncomfortable with, with his hair. And after about five years, he wanted to cut his locks to try something different. Now, I'm not sure why his scalp felt itchy this time around, but I'm thinking this could possibly be due to the method that I used. As with the first lock journey, I had started that using the two strand twist method and not the braid lock method. I don't know, maybe braiding the hair causes more tension at the roots, which then make the scalp feel itchy as opposed to the two strand twist, which is a bit looser at the roots, allowing the scalp to breathe a little bit more. I'm not sure, but that is what I am guessing. But go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know what you guys think about that. This is also another reason why it is important to research the different methods you think would be best for yourself and also to be sure whether you want to commit to your lock journey because despite the method you choose to go with, you may still experience itchy scalp. Now, if you choose to continue your lock journey after, you know, experiencing very itchy scalp, then the best suggestion I could give in regards to easing an itchy scalp is to moisturize and massage your scalp regularly. In the event the itching is unbearable, I would suggest trying another method. Go ahead and check the cards above for a list of other methods and tips to consider before starting your lock journey. And for those who are interested in knowing how long his hair has grown since installing his braid locks, his hair has grown one inch. And currently he's not quite sure what style he wants, but he is mainly interested in growing out his hair at this point. So with that, there is not much to update you on regarding his luck journey, but I decided to do this video in case others were curious to learn more about how his hair was progressing. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and found it very helpful. And if you did, then please be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. So until next week Sunday at 5pm, we will be right back here with another video.